So in today's video, it's going to be part one of a four part series on maintenance for a runner's body. And we are going to start with the upper extremity. Usually when we think of running, we think of the legs, the knees, the hips, and power generation, the core. But first, let's talk about the upper extremity. And we're going to start out with some very specific muscles, the deltoids, the biceps, and the triceps. Already worked on there, Mickey? Yeah. All good? Oh, yeah. Turn over this way, please. So we can even get a better view of the camera. What I'm going to do is I'm going to get you to actually take your arm down like so, okay? Just one second. So I'm going to start on the actually posterior deltoid here. Bring it down. How are we doing there? That's wonderful. <laughs> now, for some of the things you should be asking yourself right now is why are you working on the arms? Because we are talking about running here. Well, the arm swing functions as a pendulum that counterbalances the lower body's motion adding stability and rhythm to the gait cycle. Doing okay there? Oh yeah. No problem there? None. Okay. And up again, down, good. Excellent. Now obviously if I'm working on a runner, I'm gonna work on both sides. Now take your arm posterior and back, down. Good, back up again, take it down. Doing okay? Ooh, that's awesome. <laughs> and down. Uh, excellent. Next thing I want you to do is bring your arm up here. I ask you to, I'm going to get you to go like this. Okay. Okay. Take it down. Oh, ho, ho. <laughs> Good. Doing okay there? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh. So realize this can actually have a huge influence on your running performance. A lot of times I will be observing the gait of a runner and I'll notice that uh, they aren't using their arms very well. It's not gliding back. Take it down, good. Oh. And again, excellent. Okay, now take it from here, take it out. Put this down, grab your arm here with the other one, pull it in like a stretch. There we go, perfect. Back up. Take it down. Good. So, if you notice that kind of got a restricted arm swing in a runner, you're going to start to see very uncoordinated movements throughout the runner's entire body. And uh, actually, a very inefficient gait cycle. You okay? That's a good spot. <laughs> <laughs> oh, boy. Good. And again, down, 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 good. Okay, just move your arm around right there. Just take Ooh, it up, wee. up and down, take it behind, shoulder. Yeah. yeah. Right back here. Okay, is that a little bit easier that oh, way? Yeah. That one you probably noticed right away. Big time, yeah. Okay. <laughs> now we're gonna move on to the pectoralis muscles. Go ahead and line your back here. Okay with me working on the pecs? Yeah. Okay. Good. So we're going to go to a couple structures here, the pectoralis muscles and latissimus dorsi, but we'll start out with the pecs first. Okay. Yeah. Just put the breast down there. Put the arm relax. Take it out. You okay? Mm-hmm. Good. So there's a lot of pin and stretch techniques, modalities that actually get onto the pectoralis muscles, but the Common mistakes that occur are they actually don't get onto the enough of the muscle and they just stay in linear lines. So right now I'm moving quite linearly, but I'm gonna start putting a little bit of torsion into there. Are you okay? Yes. Now, when I'm working on a structure, I'm always gonna be working on both sides. Okay. So this is an important thing in terms of getting the arm back. If the pecs are tight and contracted, it's going to lead to a very, very inefficient arm swing. Okay. Now, I'm going to have you lie on your side, face over. Just bring this down a little bit here. Now, I'm going to actually go between a little bit of latissimus dorsi on the side here and the serratus anterior. And just take my hand down here. Are you doing okay? Yeah. 
Not too bad? No, it's actually pretty good. Okay, all right. So this one is not fully on the lat by any means, but this will really help to open up the area. Doing okay there? Yeah. Okay. Okay, now, because the lat also attaches the lower part here, take this down. Doing okay? Yeah. That's nice. There's a good stretch in there. And go face down. Bring the table up here a little bit. doing there oh, and over stretch. and back oh. take it right out I find that if I just use my fingertips it's gonna be a little pokey and you're not gonna be able to get in as well doing okay there yeah back really increases it though when I use your arm here doesn't it oh yeah yeah okay so I probably do Three to five passes or more, depending on the restriction. Even holding the area for a little bit until I felt release. Back. Okay, come sit up now. So, deltoids, biceps, triceps, working around, getting out of the pecs, both sides, latissimus dorsi. Work on these structures and you will see a huge difference in shoulder motion with a runner. This can improve the efficiency considerably.